Hey everyone, uh, I thought it might be possible to visualize uh, ionizing radiation uh, using supercritical CO2. Uh, so the way a cloud chamber works is that a, uh, an unstable state is created in the cloud chamber so that when an alpha particle or a beta particle uh, comes screaming through there, it causes uh, vapor droplets to condense and you can see the trails. It's actually really quite striking. Uh, so, in my research, I also found out about bubble chambers, uh, which work sort of um, on a similar idea. It uses a superheated liquid, so a liquid that's pushed past its boiling point uh, and is also in an unstable state. So, when an ionizing particle goes uh, tearing through there, uh, it causes uh, localized boiling. So, you see a trail of bubbles in the chamber. So, I thought, well, with supercritical CO2, this might be pretty neat since. Uh, there might be a point at which the, uh, the gas or which the substance is supercritical and it's being cooled down and it might be uh, unstable at the point where it's about to cross over into the two phase uh, region. So I tried it. Uh, that little uh, button in there is a uh, radiation source from smoke detector, from a smoke detector, an americium 241, I think, source. So I just popped one open and got it out. And um, I didn't have any other way of checking whether how, how hot it is radioactivity wise, but uh, I assume it's, it's pretty normal. And as you can see, there was no really trail, there weren't any, you can't really see anything coming out of there, so the, the experiment's pretty much a failure. Um, but I think there may be some ways to uh, make this a little less stable. So I think the reason that we didn't see anything is that the supercritical CO2 just transitioned smoothly. There was never any sort of unstable state. So I think by playing with the pressure in the chamber, we might be able to cause it to be uh, less stable. So push uh, a little bit of liquid CO2 into the chamber and then suddenly drop the pressure, uh, causing the liquid to um, boil quickly. And wherever the uh, particles are going through there, it might get a little bit more localized boiling. In any case, uh, I'm working on the aerogel, which is going well, and uh, in a few days I'm going to put the uh, sols into the uh, supercritical drying chamber and uh, dry them out and get some aerogel. Okay, see you later. Bye.